G'day and welcome to Ben's Works. On this week's episode, I'm going to cast some mini glowing cubes and turn them into a goblin cube. So for this project, you only need a couple of things. The main one is one of these little mini ice cube trays. It's a silicon one. I got this one off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find one. I'll also be using this larger silicon mold. If you don't have one like this, you can get yourself a plastic container. As long as it's a cube shape, it'll work just fine. To create my glow effect, I'll be using the Glowing Goblin Hippo Glitter. And the resin I'll be using is a slow set casting resin. So the first step we need to do is take our little mini mold and make some cubes. Because I've mixed up enough resin to do a lot of these cubes, I'm going to pour it into some smaller cups, that way I can use some different colours. When you buy glitter from Solar Colour Dust, they give you these little spoons, it makes it really easy to put your glitter in. For the first lot of cubes, I'm going to use this holographic glitter. Now the more glitter you put in, the better the effect's going to be. How cool does that look? So I don't make a mess everywhere, I've just got one of these syringes and we'll pump it in. Well that's all the holographic ones done, now let's do some different colours. Alright, I can't resist. I've got to do a quick test. Let's see how bright this glows. Alright, lights off. Whoa, check it out. That's bloody unreal. How good does that work? Man, this is going to look awesome. Well, I've got enough resin left over to make two more colours. I'm just going to chuck in some glitter into these. I'm going to do that off camera and you'll see it in a second. The resin started to thicken up on me because it was starting to set and I was unable to pull it through the plunger so I had to pour these ones just straight out of the cup. Even though I'm using slow set with a long pot life, it was starting to get on. I've been about 40 minutes now just playing around with all this so it's done quite well. I'm just going to take my little blowtorch now and just pop all these surface bubbles. Now I'm just going to leave this to set, there's no need to pop this in the pressure pot, it'll be just fine just out here on the table, and I'll check back in about 4 hours. Okay, it's time to pop these bad boys out. They all came out nice and cleanly, this is my little spill because I was messy, other than that, perfect. Check that out. Now we've got all our little cubes, it's time to have some fun. That last clip you saw was filmed about four weeks ago, and since then, I've given this mold a bit of a hard time. I made the Aquaman video, the skin video, and a couple of other projects which you'll see soon. So there's a couple of ways that I could make this cube. One way would be to pour some resin in, put the mini cubes in, line them all up in position and let it cure. The other way would be to pour some resin in, let that cure, then grab some UV resin and stick each of these mini cubes down, that way they're fixed into position. So that's the way I'm going to do it, but before I do that, I want to divide this cube into three equal layers, that way I know how much resin to pour in. So I've gone ahead and marked out my three layers, they're going to be my three pour lines, we'll start off with the base. Make sure when you're mixing your resin, you try and do it thoroughly. I try and go for at least two minutes, making sure I scrape down all the sides and the bottom. That way you don't get any soft spots in your resin. So the base layer is poured. I'm gonna go pop this in the pressure pot. And we'll bring it out in about four hours. Well, that's in the mold curing. I'm gonna take these mini cubes and you can see here that there is a slight lip from when I pulled them out of the mold. I'm just going to sand that flat. Now 
Now I'll just give these a wipe down and they're good to go. So our first layer has just come out of the pot. It's all nice and hard. The next step is to take some of these cubes and start our first row. Look what I just noticed. There's a bloody hair in there. Looks like mine too. Damn it. I guess I got an option to pull that out and restart, but hey, there's a part of me trapped in my project. That's pretty cool, I suppose. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna take a pair of tweezers and then I'm gonna use some UV resin. I'm gonna put it on the bottom and carefully place these nine cubes inside. I'll just put them roughly where I think they need to go for now. Then once all nine are in, I'll be able to tweak them into position. So I've moved these into position. They're pretty much where I want them. Now I'm gonna take the UV torch and set the UV resin. Now I have set the cubes in a little bit. That gives me a bit of room for error in case I wanna sand this cube down. So the next step is to pull my next layer of resin up to my mark. That all looks pretty good. Time to go back in the pot. Check that out. That's looking awesome. Now I need to glue nine more cubes on the top pour some more resin and then it's back in the pot. This time it's a little easier to line up because I just got to place these cubes on top of the other ones. Okay, looks like we're all set. Now it's time to pour on the top layer and throw it back in the pot. We're back out of the pot and now we're ready to put in our last nine. One final pour and then we're back in the pressure pot. And there we have it, our finished cube. Well, I don't think it's quite finished just yet. I think I'm gonna demold this and sand and polish the edges. But for now, it's looking pretty complete. So I've just given it a quick sand and a polish. Check this out. Look at that. That looks bloody unreal. And that's not even the best part. Check this out. Look at that. Wow. That glows so much. Check it out, that looks bloody awesome. Check out how good that looks. It looks amazing. I love how you can see the reflection on the walls. It makes it look like there's hundreds of cubes in there. Well guys, what did you think of that one? I've always seen these pop up on my Instagram feed and I've always wanted to make one and it was super easy to do. Well that's all for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.